Writers often find themselves in a very difficult position in that they are writers, wives, and mothers. Personally, motherhood comes first. At times, I have to choose between my writing career and my children. Family needs can be demanding. They open children with their homework at a time when you are supposed to be attending a poetry session. Or the sisters open mic or taking them to a school event when you have a poetry consultancy and paying for school trips when there's no money, sorry, when there's no money in the house. As the children get older, they begin to understand that being a mother also means being able to put food on the table. Women writers can look around and find solutions to problems. But they still have done something positive, even if what they contribute is no more than just getting people to think around certain issues. How does the reading public get to know what the woman writer is doing? A woman writer can market herself and a talent in order to sustain the family by packaging a work well in book form, both in print and online, public readings, serializations in magazines and newspapers. For example, the Sunday Mail used to have a supplement called Sunday Mail Literary Magazine, which created numerous opportunities for writers to publish their material. Some of these writers became quite prominent, for example, the late Stephen Alumenda.